Yeah, so I would I would apply it to a lot of programs. So think about what you just said. Let's break down what you just said. When when Hypel got hired from Central Florida, people who had their ear to the ground in the coaching industry knew at the time he wasn't even the most well liked guy at Central Florida. They were talking about like one more year if he doesn't produce next year, he may be in the hot seat down here. Then all of a sudden he gets hired at Tennessee. So Anybody who says they doubted him and doubted the hire, that's not dumb, man. I'm in that same boat. Like, I looked at it and I said, that's the direction they chose. Okay, maybe they know something I don't. Well, it turns out they do, and they brought his AD right before they brought him. So it makes logical sense. But anyway, the year one to year two thing, and really they overachieved last year if we think about it. But year two, they've kind of flashed on the national scene. Here's what it screams to me especially when we got what's going on over in College Station, which is like the antithesis of Tennessee. What it screams to me is, yeah, you got the right guy, but you got the right system. And that's a system that is able to tailor itself and, and morph itself around the pieces you have. Instead of sitting there and being so rigid and saying, it's not going to work until we get the right pieces. He's come in there. Think about this now. Who nationally was talking about Hendon Hooker when he was at Virginia Tech? If you're a diehard fan, you knew his name. If, if you bet college football, you knew his name. But you you would have never in your right mind, you would have tested me for all kinds of drugs if I told you Hendon Hooker, Heisman conversation one day before his career is over. And then also, look at some of the talent they're playing with this year. This is largely a Jeremy Pruitt roster still. They didn't hit the portal hard. Like everyone's talking about Georgia not going into the portal. Neither did Tennessee. They had guys exit. They didn't bring a ton of guys in. So – if you're looking at South Carolina right now and you're asking yourself, hmm, what kind of offense should we run here? It's not as simple as just let's go find our Josh Heupel or let's go find our Kendall Browse. I grant you that. But there are plenty of qualified candidates out there who I think would jump at the chance and who know that offense and who could come in and probably surprise you with what they're able to squeeze out of the talent you already have on campus. And then even last cycle, uh, Shane Beamer and his staff showed us they're not shy about going into the portal. They can succeed. They can hit when they go into the portal. And then once you hit with the personnel, it's up to you to maximize the potential of that personnel. So they did A. Now hopefully they can do A and B.